Hi, this is Shadi. Today I'm going to be talking about Tomiki Aikido. Now, we talk a lot about Aikido's methodology of training and how it can be very ineffective and the way Aikikai is going, but this format of competition can be very offensive. Uh, personally, I think it's it's somewhat of a subpar judo in a sense, but that being said, it is very offensive and it does put resistance in the equation and that's very much needed whatever you happen to train so today we're going to be looking at some competition footage the full video will be in the description below and of course discuss the technique uh, from a judo standpoint uh, personally the knife stuff i'm very skeptical of but nonetheless it is still a form of good training so let's first start with this the hand gripping is it's different as you can see here he's doing like a seoi nage from one arm on the sleeve and they're trying to push each other keeping space gripping only the sleeves and then from here he turns away again doing a great seoi otoshi so it's very reminiscent of uh, inoue's um, seoi nage that he used to do back in the day and here it's from the 2000 uh, Sydney Olympics pushing on the inside of the elbow while grabbing the sleeve very much the same so this next one here is some great uh, hand technique uh, or tewaza so hand fighting and then as he is getting pushed he grabs the sleeve and uh, goes for the bottom of the skirt or somewhat the up upper part of the leg almost on the buttocks and pulls it towards while pushing on the sleeve so it's it's like a kuchiki uh, taoshi it can be done on the outside of the thigh and inside of the thigh of course um, and with a lot of running uh, towards the front of course there's resistance in competition so it's not gonna look like this here but um, you get the principle and you get the idea so they have very good hand techniques in my opinion sure the gripping is not where you want it here simply just shoots a double a double leg takedown so he doesn't scoop up but he pulls towards him and runs to the front this is picture perfect morote gari so morote gari again a hand technique and it is about reaping both legs with both hands or you can reap one leg and you go down there is no lifting up lifting upwards would qualify it as sukuinage or a scooping throw and also I'll show you competition examples of old judo so here you see goes for the legs and drives forward pulling the legs towards him it's not pretty but it was effective for sure there's no scooping upwards now this is a far better example goes for one leg then the second and just dives down perfect example this is Tamura the legendary Tamura five Olympic medals and here starts with one leg then two I miss old judo so now let's continue now this in judo today will get you immediately disqualified and yet here it's a very important technique when it comes to the knife part of the uh, sparring and I think the reason why they stay very safe is because uh, when they do the waki gatame they stay standing rather than diving down if they dive down I'm sure there's an injury that's gonna happen and it's probably in the rules uh, too because you don't see someone going down um, so waki gatame waki is not the armpit only waki is your whole side like the ribs and uh, underneath your armpit so it can be any part from there so it's again it's great it's practice with the resistance there's the knife etc and again i'm very skeptical with how they attack with the knife sometimes they see them just like putting it there instead of just stabbing relentlessly so ude hishigi waki gatame uh, armpit hold 
while crushing the arm. So it targets the elbow, you put your weight down on the locked elbow and that's how you get the breaking uh, effect. So here you see it's uh, on uh, in the stand-up. Uh, we can't do that today in uh, judo, but here you see in Tomiki Aikido it is being done. Uh, you can you can do it, however, in uh, in Neiwaza. So here you see you are in Kuzure Kesa as they try to go towards you. You can do so many things, and one one of them being Waki Gatame. So you can also do it here. It's it's like Ronda Rousey's armbar, how she put it underneath her armpit. That would technically be Waki Gatame from uh, Juji Gatame. So. Uh, however, in judo, it can be very dangerous due to the nature of the gripping. It is far more complex than Tomiki Aikido gripping. Uh, and also how they dive down because there is uh, ground uh, techniques. So a lot of them try to take it down and finish it on the ground. And that's where the problem uh, happens. And here, I believe Saito broke his arm. Uh, but... Here you see the difference between staying up and doing it and going down, which makes it far more dangerous. Here you see a failed Uchimata finished with Waki Katame. Brilliant. Brilliant transition by Saito himself. Uh, now this one here was just sheer brutality and it was really unreasonable and the man absolutely was shattered. I, it was his wrist, I believe. Let's see it here again slowly, but it's safe to say that the man that did it was disqualified and for good reason because you don't leave an option for your opponent to tap out. You just injure them. So he blocks with the leg and then does it. So now here it's like a classical Aikido technique where you push on the inside of the elbow and you're grabbing the wrist without loading on the back like Seo Enage. So this is an Aikido called Sumi Otoshi. Not to be confused with Judo's Sumi Otoshi. However, it can be similar because you are pushing to the front and the backward uh, part of your opponent. So it is the same, uh, but this is only with one arm uh, Judo. Sumi Otoshi is with the sleeve and the lapel. Now, granted, this can also qualify in judo as Sumi Otoshi. And here you see it's being done. No loading on the back. So, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. The highlight video will be in the description. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. Your support would mean greatly. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.